everyone, my name is Emily Teague. I am a portrait and fashion photographer based in Brooklyn, New York. Today we'll be talking all about studio lighting and specifically how to create soft light. But first, let's define what that is. Soft light tends to wrap around your subject, casting diffused shadows with soft edges. The transition from light to dark is gradual. Imagine a gradient for this. Whereas with hard light, you're getting those abrupt and defined lines between the light and dark. Soft light is also going to make for broader, more even lighting. You can imagine a bare bulb lamp in a dark room and the difference putting a lampshade on is going to make. That shade is diffusing the light and making the light across the room softer. It's going to feel more inviting. With hard light, you're going to get more texture, whereas with soft light, our textures are going to appear smoother. So if you're shooting someone with a lot of texture on their face, like acne or bumps, soft light can help make that appear less noticeable. Your soft lighting is generally more flattering for whoever's in front of your camera. So how do we create this beautiful lighting? We have options. We can diffuse our light, make the light source larger, or bounce the light. And with the right lighting modifiers, we can do all of those things at once. So let's talk diffusion first. By diffusing light, we're spreading that light evenly and reducing the intensity of both light and shadow. And there's all sorts of ways to do this. So let's think about a soft box. You can have one layer of diffusion on it, which will create soft light, or you can start adding more layers onto it too. Each layer you add, you're going to create softer, more even lighting, but keep in mind your light is also going to be losing power with each layer it has to go through. So when I'm wanting to create really soft light with my soft boxes, I'll have an inner baffle for the light to hit through, an outer baffle, and then I'll actually stack another outer baffle on top of that one. So now that light is hitting through three layers of diffusion and becoming much softer than if I just had my one layer. You can also get creative with what kind of diffusion you want to use, like shower curtains, bed sheets, Tupperware, really anything that you can shoot through. There are many different options to play with and all of those will affect your lighting differently. And now let's talk about size. The larger your light source is in relation to your subject, the softer the light will be. So if you have a 100 centimeter softbox and you also have a 175 centimeter softbox and you trade them out to be at the same place on set, that 175 centimeter softbox is going to give you much softer light. Just keep in mind the size is in relation to your subject. Finally, bouncing light. When light hits a white or light colored surface, it bounces back. So we can think about a white V-flat, a white wall, or a bed sheet that's being held up. When your light hits the white surface and reflects back, this can fill in the shadows and add soft light to your model. We can imagine one light right overhead your model and the dark shadows that could be cast underneath the jaw. A white surface underneath your model can bounce some of that light back up onto your model and lift those shadows up a bit. Another way to think of this is if instead of shooting our light directly at our model, we instead shoot it directly towards a white V-flat that will then bounce that light back onto our model. Like we talked about with the fusion, the power and intensity of your light is going to be cut when your light is bounced. You're also bouncing off a large surface, which is going to create a broader, more even spill of light on your model. Another way for light to bounce is inside your softbox. I'll talk about my Ellen Chrome Rotolux softboxes for this. Inside, we've got the silver reflective and textured fabric. This silver lining is going to reflect and bounce our light while also increasing the output. So if I'm on set and my goal is to create really soft light, the first decision I'm going to make is to shoot with a large inverse mounted softbox instead of direct. This means my strobe will be pointing towards the inside of my softbox instead of the diffusion baffle. So my light is going to hit the silver inside, bounce all around this textured silver fabric, come through the layers of diffusion and result in really beautiful soft light. If I wanted to get real crazy with my desire for soft light, I could do the same thing with the inverse mount, but have it directed towards a white V-flat where it would bounce again and then come back on my model. I could even have the V-flat, it's bouncing off angled so it hits another V-flat and then that light comes back on my model. That would result in some super soft light. Things to think about though. One, you need to make sure you've got enough light output for proper exposure because you're losing a lot of light with all of that bouncing and diffusing. And two, your light is now going to be super soft and broad, but it might be a little flat too. I absolutely love working with soft light and this is just my personal style, but I also love my shadows and having it on the more dramatic side. So I probably wouldn't go as far as the diffused and flat look unless that's what I was trying to achieve. But that also brings me to the point I'm trying to get across always when I teach, which is to make sure your lighting style works with the feeling of the shoot. So if you do love the look of soft lighting and you wanna achieve that while also keeping control of your shadows, think both about the size and angle of your light too. If I raise my light up above my model and have it coming down, that light isn't going to be able to reach every part of her, like under her jaw or collarbones, which is going to result in some soft and flattering shadows that also add depth to the look. And that's all for today. 
Let me know in the comments below what your favorite way to create soft light is or if you have an idea that you've been wanting to try out. It's always wonderful to read through the comments and hear what you're all working on and I'll see you all soon.